You prefer the book to the movie. You drink your spirits neat. You describe your sense of humor as subtle and your lovemaking as imperceptible. You're the thinking person. You choose handling over speed, control over power, and principle over pleasure. You chose wisely. You chose the fist or growler. What's up guys and welcome back to GTA Online. We are back yet again with another Los Santos Tuners DLC car. This thing dropped a few days ago. I know I'm a little bit late, but uh, I'm really excited to check it out. We have our second Porsche of the DLC and uh, this one is modeled after the Cayman. So we've got a 911 that's kind of like the, the big, you know, kind of, uh, you know, trademarked Porsche, the, the one that everybody knows and loves. The Cayman's a little bit smaller. Definitely not as fast, not as powerful, not, you know, as, as much going on. Definitely a lot cheaper as well, but uh, it does have a smaller form factor and arguably may uh, handle even better. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's going to end up being pretty sick. I'm honestly, I forget which way we go. I think we got to go this way for the garage off to the left. Can't remember if it's the first. Yeah, it's the first The first left here. So yeah, man, we're going to fix this thing up. We're going to try to make it look good. We're going to see what we can do. I just, ugh. I love the look of all of these. I just, I love, I love the rear end. I love the big, thick hips on these things. So uh, I would imagine it's not going to take much to make it look good. And I'm excited to, uh, you know, have another addition to our garage here. So really kind of filling this bad boy up. I think we have 10 DLC cars that are coming out, right? We, we've got to be getting close at this point. Maybe not close, but, you know, half halfway there. A lot of these were in, in like, the main, um, you know, DLC when it first came out. So we've got one, two, three, four. Oh, we aren't even to the halfway point yet. So we are, uh, we're good to go. We're going to keep on adding new vehicles to our lineup here. And uh, hopefully we're going to keep on improving. And let's just try to make this one the best that we've done yet. So the Fister Growler. This should be fun. Start with our liveries here. See what we've got going on. We've got Fister on the... Ooh, the dual stripes don't look bad. We've got camo. We've got racing liveries, of course. I'm thinking let's go with... Um, I'm going to go with Growler on the side. The white Growler there. And then we're going to take a look at the respray here. I have already kind of upgraded all of our, um, you know, tunes and, and, and turbos and everything else like that. I'm kind of thinking maybe like a metallic... Ooh, see, like a metallic bright orange wouldn't look bad. I'm kind of... I was thinking more of a blue or a green, a gasoline green. Ooh, the lime green doesn't look bad. Let me see what else we've got going on. I kind of like almost like a nautical blue. Honestly, that green that we saw is kind of kind of speaking to me a little bit. Ooh, the, the spinnaker purple also looks pretty good. Bright purple doesn't look bad. I think I'm going to go for that. I kind of want like a seafoam green, I guess you could call it. Like what if we what if we started with this and then we, we went with with kind of a, a pearlescent like blue-ish on top of it, maybe. Shafter purple, see like, ah. Uh. It's really kind of changing depending on how the light's hitting it here. I, this is maybe a little bit too green. I was kind of leaning more towards a blue. I mean, something something like that right there is, is not bad at all. It's got like a, a blue-green look to it depending on, on what the lighting is and what angle you're looking at it. So actually, I, I kind of like that there. Secondary color, we're going to go with uh, just kind of like, a, I would say like a classic ice white or something like that. Bumpers, see what we've got going on here. So we've got the street performance or endurance bumpers. To be honest, I really like the stock quite a bit more. I don't know what's going on with my PlayStation controller, but it keeps, uh, ooh, I like the side vents right there. Arch vented bumper. It keeps, do ooh, ooh, we've got the doubles. I cut off like the, the one single with the, the, Reflector delete there. That looks pretty good. Arch vented bumper right there. But yeah, my controller is like it's it's doing a double press down. When I press down once, we've got new exhaust options here. What do we want to go with? Ooh, these are all kind of interesting, a little bit different. There's so many different options here. I kind of want something unique. I mean, like that doesn't look bad. I like I like something like that. Carbon big bore exhaust gonna be kind of an interesting one. Haven't really gone with with something like that before, so we'll stick with it. Fenders looks like we can have some vents on there. Maybe I might try to keep it a little bit more stock this time around. We'll we'll see what happens. I don't want to get too too crazy, so I'm gonna go with some hood catches here. Definitely do some hood catches. Maybe something like that. Latch hood pins. Hood. Ooh, see like I like the carbon. 
We could potentially do some carbon depending on what the, the rear end looks like. I also like something like that. The performance hood looks pretty good. Race fence is a bit much. The rally is a bit much. I'm going to go with the performance hood there. Looks pretty solid. I'm kind of thinking of going with something a little bit more low-key here. We'll see what we've got going on. I'm going to skip the interior for now. Lip spoiler. Let's see what we've got going on with this. Ooh, that blue-green is, is crazy. So we've got a bunch of ducktails here. Primary ducktails, carbon ducktails, or we can just leave it stock. I mean, that just, the extreme ducktail just looks stupid. I think I'm going to leave it stock there. Livery, we're good to go on mirrors. I'm thinking let's, uh, let's carbon the mirrors out for sure. Rear splitters, see what we've got going on here. Ooh, I kind of I kind of like the primary lip splitter. That's a bit much right there. I don't feel like it's necessary though. I'm going to I'm going to leave that off as well. Roof accessories, we've got a light bar, a roof rack, an aero roof box, secondary roof box or a carbon roof box. Dude, the carbon doesn't look bad. Hmm. I'm not trying to go too simple here, but I also don't want to go too ridiculously Insane. I think I'm going to go with an, a carbon extended skirt there. Splitters. Definitely going to add some sort of a carbon splitter on there. Do we want the canards with it as well? Do we want the, the endurance boltons there? Maybe we just go with a simple, a simple carbon. Definitely would add a spoiler here. I don't really like the ducktail, but I feel... I don't want it to be too wide. I feel like something like that isn't bad. Hmm, something like that isn't bad. I mean, even something like that isn't bad. It just looks a little bit wide. I don't really like it when it extends out beyond the edge of the car. I don't know. For whatever reason, I just kind of feel like that's that's a bit much. I'm going to go with uh, with something like that. Can do all kinds of crazy different things with our tail lights. Not going to go for anything there. Turbo's good. Vents. Ah, we can change up. Do different styles of vents on there. Honestly, I really like the stock on this thing. I feel like it looks good without any of the craziness. All right, I'm going to go with, uh, do we want high-end rims? Probably high-end. We're probably going to darken these things out a little bit. Maybe carbon. I'm not sure. I mean, the stock rims look pretty sick. I'm not going to lie, so I don't really want to change them, but I feel like we kind of have to. I'm going to go with the Mercy Slip. Ooh, actually, something like this. The Mercy Concave. Look pretty sick there. All right, so we, we've got that. I haven't even looked at the track rims before. We've got some interesting ones here. Something like that. The Super Lux doesn't look bad. I might actually go for those. Ooh, see some of these? I, I feel like on a car like this, you want something kind of a, a little dainty. I'm going to go with the Super Lux. All right, looking pretty good there. Uh, tire enhancements, I'm down for some bulletproof. I don't think we're going to want uh, want any logos or anything on there. I guess we, we could... Definitely want something in, in white. Fukuru. I feel like that's kind of a lot going on though, especially when we have the growler livery. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that off. Interesting. So I'm I'm really going for something a, a little bit a little bit more low key today. I I guess I just woke up on on that side of the bed. I'm I'm not sure, but I I feel like this thing actually looks pretty sick. Now we probably should do some uh, some some neon kits on there. So we're gonna do. The front, back, and sides. We've done it with every other car so far, so why not? Gasoline green with a Mariner blue. Yeah, that's... That's... I, I feel like that's that's a little bit more of, of what I had in mind. I feel like it pops a little bit more. The other one, I mean, it was a cool blue-green, but you needed the exact perfect lighting to be able to make it work. This, I feel like, looks a little bit better in, in, in all all types of lighting here. So, yeah, this thing this thing is... I, I mean, I, I, like, I like the color a lot. It's very fancy, you know, kind of catches the sun, catches your eye. You see the uh, the sparkles happening in it as you approach it from different angles. I like it. It's 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 unassuming. I mean, it's it's assuming because it's a Porsche and it's it's you know obviously there's there's some money put into it. But I feel like it's it's not as crazy. You know, we don't have crazy body kits and splitters and stuff like you'll see on some of our other cars. Like, look at that splitter there. Look. Look at this wing. Look at some of these front bumpers and stuff. Like this thing is is super low key. It's almost stock, just a slightly more aggressive hood, some nice rims on it, aftermarket spoiler and exhaust. But uh, overall, it's pretty simple. Kind of matches our fit a little bit too. You guys know, love that T Martin blue. Can't uh, can't knock on that and. Uh, Looks like that guy likes the look of it too. Yeah, man. I don't know. There's there's something about this thing. It, it's just a little bit less intense, less insane. We got cops all over the place. Gonna be careful not to uh, run into anyone and, and 
you know, have any issues. Ooh, this thing. Oh. Oh, this, this is, this is a pile of trash. Oh my god, this is terrible. This might, this might be the worst car that I've used so far. Dude, I can't even stay on the road. Okay, I, I am not going to race in this. There is no way. Watch this. Just try to change lanes and it like, it, it's not the hard, the hard turns. It's, it's like the simple turns here. Like watch, let me, let me just try to avoid this car at the last second here. It's gonna like, you guys see how much it corrects? Well, I had high hopes because I honestly, uh, I mean, I, I think it's a really good looking vehicle. I think it's, it's, you know, one of the less assuming ones out there. And I feel like we have a pretty good spec on it right here, but this is absolutely terrible from a driving experience. Like, let me, let me try to, let me try to slalom through. I, I can't even, I, I can't, I can't drive it. I, I heard bad things about this car. You know, obviously this, you know, the, the new vehicles come out on Thursdays. Oh my God, I can't, I can't do it. New vehicles come out on Thursdays and, and you know, just been, been busy with, with other, other series and stuff. I, this, it's terrible. I, I've seen people talking about how it's really not that great. It's not fast. It doesn't handle well. And I completely see where they're coming from so hope you guys enjoyed the uh the the you know customization nonetheless i know i did i mean this is going to be a pretty new addition to our garage that was low-key kind of a little smooth right there except till the end which is you know also an important part of it okay um i'm gonna see you guys later hopefully thursday i'll uh, I'll, I'll try to have this week's car up a little bit earlier for you all i've, I've honestly just really been enjoying being back on gta 5 I, I i love this game dude love it so much Really want to get back into racing and stuff. Obviously, going to focus on the um, the new update for right now. But uh, we might bring this series back on on the reg at some point in the near future. We just have a uh, a ton of games that we got going on right now, so can't promise anything yet. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys later. I thought about ramping that off the edge, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna take a dip myself. See you guys later. Peace out.